If you guys are interested in making almost $4,000 per hour in game, stick around. I'm going to show you how. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We've got some new mods, and we're going to talk about them right now. So first up, we have the Solar Collecting Single Array Unit Large. Now, I have... <laughs> This thing's ridiculous. It is absolutely massive, and it's ridiculous, and I love it. You're going to find it right here, Placeables Miscellaneous. It's going to cost you $675,000. Oh, you heard that right. How does that compare? Well, the original solar panel made us $820 per hour in easy, and it was only $150,000. That's ridiculous. So, at four times the price that's right four times or actually almost five times the price we've got <laughs> it's a lot of money goodness gracious if you guys want to make some money there it is also if you are in normal 3175 and in hard mode 2400 dollars per hour if you're curious how long that'll take you to make it back well in easy mode alone that's going to take you 7.1 in game days to make your money back now if you guys are playing and you're playing for way more than, I mean, you can feed the animals, the horses over there, you can feed them for 10 days. In the time it takes you to feed them, you can place one of these down, wait for their food to go away, and then you've already started making money. And in seven days, you've recouped your price. So I think this is cool. I think this is good. And if you like it, jump in and grab it. There you go. Next up, we have an update to the Slurry Trading Station. What this has done has added Digestate Storage. So let's check it out. We're going to go into Miscellaneous, and then we're just going to scroll to the end, or roughly to the end, right here. Here we are. So we have Slurry Shop, which we had, Slurry Storage, which we had, and Slurry Trader, which we had. Now we have Digestate Storage as well. So we can store Digestate and Slurry, 250,000 liters each. This is going to come in handy when you guys are doing stuff with the BGA, because that's the only way you can get Digestate. However, you can only hold 250,000 liters. So you're going to be making a whole lot of trips. Plus, the BGA will hold, I think it's 800,000 liters. So my recommendation is hey, maybe just use that <laughs> if you're already doing it. But nonetheless, if you want to put this beside a field or something, this will make using the Digestate a little bit easier and a little more fun. Again, $15,000 for each of these. Ah, yeah. Next, we have the Stroutman Zellon CFS 3301DO. I know that's a lot, but check it out. You may be looking at this going, DJ, don't we have one of those in game already? Kind of. So we're going to go over here and we have the, Strout <laughs> the Stroutman Zellon CFS 2501. The thing about this, it's the smallest one we have in game. 23,000 liters. That's it. This one, it's a little different. 52,700. So it's a little bit more. 120 horsepower is required. Goes 12 miles per hour. Configuration, we can go standard or we can decrease the capacity for $100 more. Bringing our total capacity down to 31,000 instead of the standard 52,700. That's ridiculous. How? Why? Why, why, why would you do that? It costs you money to make it smaller. But the whole thing doesn't get any smaller. That That's silly. I, <laughs> this is one of the first things I'm like, well, you're paying more money to make it worse. Nope. <laughs> I'm good. Anyway, so Wilt Brand, we've got Trailer Borgs and Michelins. And in each one, we've got quite a few different options. So you've got two different sets of wides plus your standards in your trailer board and in your Michelins, exact same thing. You've got your standard and then you've got a wide and wider. We have gone for wider. One thing people don't know is you can also use these trailers right here. You can use them as uh, chaser bins when you're doing uh, chaff. Do keep that in mind. You could use these very, very multi-purpose machines, these. So do keep that in mind. You can use these for a whole lot of different stuff. You don't need an extra trailer if you're just doing chaff. Boom. All you need is this. I like it. Here we've got the new Amazon AW6600. And I've got two of them. Why do we have two of them? Well, because there are two. Don't go to Amazon and try and find these. Because you're going to pull it up and you're going to be like, um, 
Which one does which? They just both say cultivator prepares fields for next selling. Yes, because they copy and pasted. What really should have is a cultivator prepares, or prepares fields for next sowing and a weeder removes weeds. They're different. Let's check these out. Well, you think it's going to be a cultivator and you're absolutely right. You're going to jump in here to cultivator. Here it is, the Amazon AW6600, 6.6 meters wide. A couple things we can change. We can change the design color from black to like a rusty brown kind of look. And I know you're looking at this going, oh, it's just brown. It's it's rust, and I'll show you. It's kind of cool. And then we have bright old orange. I love the Amazon orange. Very cool. We'll set ups. We have standards, AW309s, T404s, AW305s, and back to standard again. Really, what we've got is a trailer Borg, another trailer Borg, and then a super little teeny tiny trailer Borg, but nice and fat. And I've got those used. We've also got it in weeders, so jump in weeders. Exact same setup in here. We could change those stuff, we could change the wheels exactly the way we could before. So it's all the same, they just do two different jobs. And here's what I was talking about, about it being rusty, because when you get in, in game, like, well, yeah, it's brown, but you could see some rust on there and everything. That's really cool, I like it. I really do. So it works exactly the way in any other cultivator normally would. Take it out there, unfold it, drop it down and it will work automatically no need to turn it on no pto needed i need a little something like that very easy very cool i like this mod next we've got an update to the farm tech duras 2000 new wear system and added capacity configuration so it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger let's jump into trailers and we are going to scroll across until we get to it right there, $34,000, 20,000 liter capacity, or we can increase the capacity to 28,000 liters for only two grand more. So a $36,000 total. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. I really, really like this trailer. I do, I do, I do. I think it looks great, it's farm tech, so it's an in-game game, or it's an in-game brand. It's just a good looking trailer, let me know. You guys using this trailer on your farms? If so, make sure you update it. We got a new version of it. Next up, we have the Lizard SX HV30. Change log says fixed particles when folding, which I have had issues with myself. What happens is it'll look like it's digging into the ground when it's not. So we can lower it down, no problems at all. I'm just gonna turn this on, see if we can pull away and make it do the thing okay so they did fix it very cool very cool i'm glad that they did that let's go and turn the trailer or tractor off rather nice i really really do like this cool we also got a new map today farming legend this was the original game map from farming simulator 11 fs 11 and this version has been adopted for farming simulator 19 this has been on pc for a good while and finally we've got it on console now i have been putting off doing anything with it because it wasn't on console however we're here and we have got it really cool couple things just to get you excited about we got two 6ms we got a fent favorite on here we've got the little new holland a couple big trailers actually well eh, 14,000 31,000 let's see we start with a bunch of animal pins we've got some big silos going on we've got a lot of stuff for you to kind of get yourself acclimated and ready to go 300,000 liter capacity for your silos we start with some really good stuff couple cell points very nice very nice we do have a hayloft which is really cool really nice i believe that's this guy right here so very awesome very neat we've got good stuff happening i like it well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like and all right please subscribe if you got any questions drop those down in the comment section below and let me know any of these new mods are you going to be using them or do you use any of the existing mods and are you going to get the solar panel this thing is wild with that being said hope you have a great day and we will see you later peace